There's Giovanni Di Cristo of Italy. And he faces Hugo Legrand of France. It's Di Cristo of Italy in white and Legrand of France in blue. Legrand looking to spin into that Uchimata. But De Cristo not getting caught. De Cristo had uh, a great battle earlier on in the uh, quarterfinal against Dex Elmont of the Netherlands. Ended up uh, throwing him with about 35 seconds left to go. And that wasn't long enough for Elmont to come back and do anything. Legrand, well, he's a, a hot property. He's the uh, man most likely to be representing France in uh, in London. Great, uh, great prospect for the French. Christo, however, is the silver medalist from the uh, under-23 European Championships from uh, a few years ago. Still young, but he's been about for a bit. Good pedigree. Nice judo. Combative and uh, likes to throw. Legrand, similarly. Just um, pushes that right hand off. Grand looking to go uh, left-sided there. And, um, De Cristo just moving away, making it difficult for him. Hasn't really put both hands on his opponent yet. And the Grand uh, really wants to settle down. Looking for a grip again. Comes high up on the uh, lapel. And now wants the sleeve, but uh, De Cristo throws in that um, Yoko Otoshi. Missed. Just put um, Legrand under a little bit of pressure. Two minutes have gone. Nothing in it, or not much. Still searching for a comfortable grip, both fighters. And, uh, they've been lucky to have been left by the referee. Because um, quite often, by now, one or other of the fighters would have been given a warning for failing to take uh, a proper grip. Just letting it go at the moment, leaving it up to them. Just letting them get on with it. That's a better grip now from um, De Cristo. There's a chance for the Uchimate. Gets turned though. He had the stronger grip and he came in with the attack. But uh, after attacking with that Uchimata, got turned by uh, Legrand. So it's Legrand now who leads by uh, a Yuko. Single score is what separates this pair at the moment. Minute 40, I'd left to go. De Cristo, slightly more aggressive of the pair, but not the one to come up with the score. And now Legrand with just that little bit more space to work with, all of a sudden moving 
with a little bit more uh, more comfort. De Cristo will begin to feel the pressure of the clock now running down against him, needing to come back. Searching for a, a grip over the top with that right arm. That's where he wants to go. Legrand looking to break it off every time. It's not what he feels comfortable with. Legrand now a bit cagey, trying to hang on to that uh, slim lead because he knows De Cristo is going to be coming for him. Inside the last minute, there goes the right arm of De Cristo. He can't make it work for him. Though. Legrand just collapses to the tatami. Forty seconds left now. Time running out for De Cristo. Good defence from uh, Legrand. Wants to go for Uchimata, but uh, we already saw Legrand uh, taking care of that attack. He's got a good defence. 20 odd seconds left to go. Christo, this one's getting away from him. Very little time left now and very little energy. He may yet take a medal, but he's not going to do it in the final. It's going to be Legrand who will go into the final. He may get penalised for an over-defensive posture here, Legrand, but it won't make any, uh, won't make any difference. He gets warned. But um, won't be enough. Hugo Legrand will fight for the uh, European Championship at under 73 kilos. Giovanni Di Cristo of Italy will fight for the bronze medal. quite sure what's happened with the contest between Mansour Isaev and uh, Losif Pelashvili because that will be the um, opponent for um, De Cristo and if it's uh, Isaev well I'll go into that as and when we get to that point but they've got some previous <laughs> so they've um, been on together a few times before The ground it is. 